everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we are working inside. There's things to do at every house, every farm, and every homestead. No matter what you're doing, you can do some cooking for yourself, for your family, take your health into your own hands, and here's why. Today we're making homemade barbecue sauce. Now this barbecue sauce is from one of my beekeeping and honey books. We're doing a honey and beekeeping giveaway that'll probably be over by the time this video goes up, but I'm actually giving away this book. It's the Honey Handbook. This recipe was actually put out by the Honey Board in the late 1980s, and it was one of the first. It is an excellent recipe. I highly recommend it. So we're gonna cook some up. Now I talk about your health and the health of your family. Here's why. A lot of store-bought barbecue sauces have things in them like soy, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup. I don't want any of that in my barbecue sauce. Well, for quite a while, we were using a barbecue sauce that was free of high fructose corn syrup. And then we started reading about soy. And we're trying to get as much soy out of our diet as possible, if not completely. So we've made a few changes our last few shopping trips, and I noticed, we tried some new barbecue sauces, that the first day you opened them up, they tasted okay. If there was any leftover in the bottle, they tasted kind of off the next time. We tried a new one, it tasted like vomit. <laughs> it was disgusting. It seemed fine the first day we did it, not so much the next day. I'm hoping this is Worcester sauce. I lost my label and, and my soy sauce looks just about the same. So, so far I've added a can of tomato soup, just condensed tomato soup, a half a cup of honey, and you can use any honey in your pantry. If you're interested, we are selling our honey stores on our Etsy shop and I can get that sent right out to you. It's usually up to about a three day shipping time, but if you get me at the right time of day, I can send it out with my husband to work the next day and it'll be to you in another two to three days. If you're close, even faster. So now we've added our Worcester sauce and now we're gonna add a little bit of yellow mustard. You can use Dijon mustard also, whichever you prefer. We use yellow mustard in our house. And that's just a teaspoonful. And we're going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice, and you can use fresh squeezed or bottled. I actually have some fresh lemons in the refrigerator right now, but I know that somebody else is counting on those for some homemade lemonade. We have also switched to using sunflower oil in all of our cooking if we cannot use olive oil. This recipe suggests two tablespoons of a salad oil, so sunflower oil is perfect for this. And this is two to three tablespoons. I'm going to try it with two and see how I like it. I thought with three tablespoons, it was a little too thin. And for a little bit of heat, add a dash of cayenne pepper. I've got the true goodness from Myers. Almost everything that they have that's true goodness is organic and it's free of anything that shouldn't be there. Got to be careful so you get just the pinch. This doesn't have the shaker top. I wouldn't want to dump the whole thing in what I... All right. We're gonna just let this simmer and come to a boil for five minutes. As it's heating, it's going to thicken. All those flavors are gonna simmer together. This recipe makes two cups. So if you wanted to make a big batch of it, boy, you could just go right on it and get it all canned up and get your pantry full of barbecue sauce. A lot of times when I'm trying a new recipe, I like to do the smallest batch possible because if it's no good, you don't want to get stuck with it. So what's on the menu for dinner for this barbecue sauce? We could do barbecue ribs. That's one of the family's favorites. I also like a lot of barbecue chicken. The kids love it. Do you know I never make fried chicken? We always have gone to like a local grocery store and got their deli deep fried chicken. 
and ended up with a terrible stomach cake the next day. <laughs> we got to kind of cut that out. Over the past few years, as our diets have changed, we've eaten out less and less, and it's just becoming necessity to be able to make those things. Um, I never used to make hamburgers at home. We always ate them out. And I love a Culver's hamburger. It is my absolute favorite for any kind of eating out hamburgers. You're actually getting what you're paying for. You're getting worth and value out of it. Now we just make our hamburgers at home. That fried chicken will be one of my next feeds. A few years ago, I had to take on making our own deep-fried cod. Those family-style cod dinners at like local churches and community centers started getting really expensive as our family got bigger. And you know, they would say they would be all you can eat. They always ran out of fish. And you might get two or three pieces. Better for us to just go ahead and make it at home. Now, if you prefer, you can use a dash of hot pepper sauce instead of the cayenne. Use whichever one you prefer, or leave it out completely if you don't want any spice or heat in your barbecue sauce at all. I like it just a touch. The key thing when cooking with this barbecue sauce is to not put it on your meat too early in the process. You don't want it to burn on. It's also thin enough that you can use it as a dipping sauce. But I really think that doing three tablespoons of oil, it's too much. Oh, it's so nice. Look at that. I know it doesn't look quite like much yet, but it is thickening up and it is so nice. Now remember, when you add your condensed soup, you're not adding any water. That would make it way too thin and it speeds up the whole process so much. Now in a pinch, I suppose if you didn't have any condensed soup, you could probably use ketchup and add a little bit of water. It's worth a try. Also, as a substitute, quite often you can substitute honey and maple syrup interchangeably. Just remember that the honey and the maple syrup is very sweet and it's different than sugar. If you were to substitute out straight sugar in a recipe like this, um, because the honey and the maple syrup is so much sweeter, you would want to increase your sugar and just kind of taste it as you go. I don't want too many sugar grams in my sauce, so doing this with honey and maple syrup is really great because your body reacts differently to the glucose in it. So you can store this in any container you want in your refrigerator. A mason jar is the best thing I found for our family because then we can just spoon it out as we need it. Little squeeze containers, you can buy, um, you can reuse a barbecue sauce container, you can buy a little empty ketchup type container. You just want to make sure that before you bottle it that it's not so hot that it'll crack your jar or preheat your jar so that that doesn't happen. The darker the honey, the more robust flavor you're going to get out of your barbecue sauce. I highly recommend this. Give it a try, everyone. The whole complete recipe will be down there in the description with a link to the Etsy store so that you can order your honey also. Thanks for watching. Bye. So can I make my video now? Go.
Thank you.